Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back, CBK here. This is of course Fishing North Atlantic. We're going to try and do a bit of net fishing today. We're going to go through the tutorial. I'm a bit scared because the tutorials have bitten me in the ass more than once. If you've been watching the videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But we, we already know how to do net fishing, so I'm hoping this is going to go okay. Right. Go to the fish market. Fishing gear. Buy three fishing nets. It doesn't say... Ah, 375 meter fishing nets. There are three different sizes of fishing nets. Since nets don't need to be baited, you can reuse the net over and over again, as long as you don't damage the net too much. Okay. Exit the port by clicking the return button. Alrighty. So we got maximum fuel. We got the ocean runner. I bet you, let me just quickly check this. I bet you we don't have any crew again. No, we've kept them. That's so weird. Good weird, but weird. Because sometimes when you restart the game, you'll have lost all your crew. And sometimes I don't. Uh, okay, you can open the map to see the marked area and follow the marker on top of your screen in third person mode. Yes, we know. We know all about that. Beautiful, misty morning. get ourselves out and find out where we're going where are we going all the way over to here so hopefully this is going to start bringing in some serious cash want to be up to about six million as quick as possible really Where's the marker? I think that's it there. And we've got some fishy wishies. What kind of fishy wishies do we have? They look like swordfish to me. Get a little bit closer and we'll have a look. I'm not sure I like this rain. I'm sure it looked better in fishing barren sea. It's like being attacked by arrows. <laughs> it's not good. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got some swordfish just round about there. Well worth taking note of. Hopefully we don't catch any in the nets, unless of course that's what we're actually intending to catch. We shall see. And you can see the net just hanging off the back of the boat there. Oh, it's not actually. It's... Kind of weirdly positioned, I'd say. Right, okay. So there's a there's a boy there and a marker here. So let's go to the boy first. Just in case that's what's causing the problems with other markers. It could very well be something as simple as that, you know. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I mean, I didn't hit it, but I was so close to it. Let 
probably try and physically hit it. That's what I want to do. I don't think it's a fishing pot boy. I could be wrong. Definitely hit it. Didn't seem to make any difference. All right, we'll just risk it then. Let's go straight in. Now that you've reached the mark area, it's time to set your first net. Okay, go to first person, go to the work deck and pick up a net bucket. A net bucket, I ask you. Oh, I see, this is a metal thingy. Gotcha. Set the bucket, interact with it to set it. There we go. To successfully set the net, keep the marker in the center by steering your boat accordingly. The net will get damaged if you fail. How do I steer the boat accordingly? So I've got to run back to here oh, I have to go to external I don't really know what I'm doing oh please tell me it's not controlling the speed of the boat again I hated that in the first one. Oh, am I not supposed to go that way I'm supposed to go this way now that you've set your first net you need to wait a minimum of four hours before you can pick it up for the purposes of this tutorial, the time will now be skipped forward 20 hours. 20 hours is the optimum time a net should stay in the sea. You can see this by looking at the outline colour of the boy on the map. The best time to pick up the line for the best yield is when the outline is blue. Now you need to haul the net. In order to haul the net, you need to position the boat such that both of the boys are starboard to the right side of the boat and at least one of the boys is within a few meters. Okay, the semicircular region will be highlighted green when one of the boys is positioned close enough to the net hauler. An arrow will point to the other boy and will also be highlighted green once the boy is starboard. So, I need to do a complete about turn. You need another crew member to assist you when hauling the nets. Well, you didn't say that in the tutorial, did you? Okay, so if I get two guys on it, will they just do it themselves? That would be really handy. Or will that bugger up the uh, tutorial? Let's find out, shall we? So this appears to be a very similar yeah. When hauling a net, you need to press the left mouse button when the indicator is within the red area to collect a fish from the net. Failing to hit within the red area will damage your net, but you will still get the fish. If a net gets too damaged, you need to repair it before you can use it again. Except I don't think... I don't think I'm supposed to be using two crew members to do this. So, um, 
think I need to get rid of one of these crew members and I can't so I'm not going to be able to complete the tutorial oh bloody hell see I can't move any of them net two damage to use net hauling not fully completed now gut the fish well maybe I can uh, maybe I can use these guys I don't know so I've sent dude over there to the gutting table where is the gutting table oh it's there look underneath so he's doing a very good job Will it fail me for not doing it myself? I don't know. So I think what we'll do is we'll go back to port, we'll get some big nets, um, we'll upgrade the ship so that we've got an automatic fish gutter, and um, yeah, try and expand the storage as well. that's going to take him a long time <laughs> and I doubt I can take him off it can I can I get him cooking All right you go cook dude and I'll just I'll finish up and then he won't get all upset and the tutorial will let me finish once you've pressed start you need to hold down the left mouse button yeah try to keep the knife on the marked area to maximize that was a good one oh, not not as good as I hoped Well, that's only three stars. Three stars. Four stars. Brilliant. Good job collecting the first net. A mission waypoint has been set on your map to another net that has been out for a number of hours already. Hurry to haul in this net before too much time passes. A net must be picked up before 72 hours have elapsed, or else the net will be lost. The colour of the boys in the minimap indicate the amount of time they have been set out for. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the map. Let's go to the net. Does that mean we're going to get an extra net? I do hope so. That would be very handy. A free net. Right. We get the chaps on the go. So at the moment, um, depending on the season and the price for the fish, uh, it very much seems like deep line fishing is the quickest way to make money. a lot less effort and a lot more profit although net fishing I would imagine is quite profitable itself if you've got a big enough net and you've got all the right equipment and enough crew etc let's see if they can do this without damaging the net this time that would be a nice improvement Three thousand seven hundred seventy-two point four kilogram of fish was successfully caught. Splendid. Uh, okay, who's good at cutting fish? Derek. Awesome. Travel to the location marked on the map. Oh, here we go again. 
Here we go again. Uh, There is no location marked on the map. Oh, caramba. All right, we're just going to go back to port. Uh, I don't really want to go there again. They weren't very nice to me. They charged me to sell my 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 lobsters, which I didn't appreciate. So we should be processing the uh, the fish right now, or the crew should be. I'm just I'm just sailing, um, and that's pretty cool. By the time we get to port, we should be pretty much done. Is he still gutting fish? No, he's finished. We've got 5,000 uh, kilograms of fish ready to be processed. This tutorial, however, has not completed. So I think uh, we'll probably have to cancel it, which is a little irritating, but hey, not the end of the world. We've still got a flipping boat and our fish, so, well, I think we have. Let's see what happens when we end the tutorial. Fish on board, would you like to sell your fish? Yes, I would. 17,000, so that's pretty rubbish. That is pretty rubbish. All right, let's dock. Let's go for some upgrades. Storage, uh, 150,000, let's do it. Storage, 100,000, gosh. Let's do it. Storage, 50,000, we can't even afford it. So, what can we afford? We need some new nets. Uh, fish market. Fishing gear. Buy some nets. Big nets. So I can have... I can have a lot of nets, look. So you can have... 40 nets. How much is that going to cost? They're really cheap. Right, I'm going to I'm going to sell the little nets. very expensive so they're all 165 meter nets let's just buy 165 meter nets so yeah oh not enough money oh bugger so you have to have the same basically okay right so we have a lot of nets now But no money, so I've literally, literally just put every last penny we have into these nets. So now we need to go fish. Where should we go? Let's go here, and I'm going to go across that way. Oh, really? Oh, I don't like that. Woof! Oh! Oh, 
Oh, what do we hear? There's nothing there. Oh, no, not good. I thought we'd cleared it. There must be something just under the under the water itself. Crikey, look at all those nets. All right, come on, come on. Note to self, don't get that close again. Hoo -hoo. Okay, let's do this, boys. So, hang on, he can only prepare gear. They've both got full energy. I don't understand what the problem is. Repair the boat. It's all broken. I just drove into the thingy. Right, so he's there preparing gear. Let's start moving forwards. Doesn't seem to be any way to make him chuck that overboard. Right, let's go see if we can help him out. This is so frustrating. Why why is it telling me how fast I can drive? Punish me for going too fast. Don't do it for me. Goodness me. Correct me if I'm wrong, <clears throat> it looks like there's fish on the net as it's going out. I keep seeing what looks like fish on this side. No, maybe, not. maybe it's just a trick of the light. So we can get an awful lot of these down. I think we're going to be able to put more down than we can actually uh, cope with. But, um, yeah, the, the crew not being able to throw it overboard, I think, is insane. Such a strange system to employ, forcing me to keep doing this every time. Or this. And then I don't even have any control over the, over the speed of the boat anyway. See, look. That's not me taking my finger off the throttle, that's the game. Even when I'm still holding the throttle down to go, it doesn't. Just punish me. If you're laying a net and I go over a certain number of knots, just rip the net up to bits. You, you ruining the fun of the game by doing it for me it's crazy
In fact, I don't need to walk back, do I? I can just... I don't need to do anything, to be honest with you. I can just press the V button. Yeah, I don't even need to accelerate. It does that as well. Who thought this was a good idea? Seriously. change that. That's so pointless. Get to the wheel to steer the boat. I don't need to. Maybe in rougher seas there's a point to this. I, I, I'm not even touching the keyboard. What is the point in this section of the game? I'm not doing anything. We have got so many fish, uh, so many nets on board. We're never ever going to need to use all these nets. So, anyway, my idea being that we've got some shallow water, some uh, medium deep water, and some very deep water. I thought spreading the nets across those three would be a good test to see what difference it makes. But if we're pulling in, say, 10,000 kilograms of fish per net, then I can only let I can only put five out there. So we'll see. Okay, so what we're going to do, I didn't, see this is another problem, the left mouse button does too many things, right, so I want you to get off that, I want you to rest, I want you to rest, because at some point you're both going to be required to uh, haul these in, and that you actually can do, is a job you can do. Oh. You forget it always takes the throttle off. Last one. We'll try six to start with and see how it goes. We've got um, four and a half in shallow water and one and a half in medium depth water. See if it makes any difference at all.
Okay. So all I'm going to do is zig a zig ah. Come round to this side. So that's two hours and 45 minutes. We're going to have a little kip. If I can figure out how to do it. Somewhere there must be a clock. There's the clock. So let's give them eight hours. Let's see how they look after eight hours. Still all red. And now we've got some decent binoculars. Have we got decent binoculars? Don't tell me it's reset my binoculars as well. Oh, that sucks, man. I've lost my decent binoculars. Okay, so they've been in the water for 10 hours. That's obviously not enough. So we'll give them another eight. Let's go for nine. Split the difference. Okay, so they're just going blue now, which is great. So, let's get the crew on the net hole. And, oh yeah, we haven't got anyone on the machine gut. That's a bit of a problem. Should have picked up an extra couple of crew members, but I'd already spent all my money, so I can't do that. Let's just see how this goes. Well, what I might do is this. can experience what it's like to haul in the nets ourselves. That's a smidge annoying. Straight past it. Second boy isn't to starboard of the boat. Okay. It is now. Okay, so what have I got to do? Left mouse button to start. Oh, I get it, okay. Another mini game. Oh, it's going to be a smidge tricky. That's a nice catch. Out of all the mini games, this is the hardest one. So far. Redfish. Oh, 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 oh gosh. This is really quite tricky, this one. Okay. So obviously the mechanical gutting machine is not being animated properly. Got a thousand kilograms or yeah, one thousand kilograms of silver hake. Well done us. You can see there's quite a nice collection of fish in there, but we'll leave him to that because we need to get on and get the next net hauled in. There you go, ten thousand uh, kilogram of fish, I told you. So we're not going to be able to um, 
we're not going to be able to pull in all six which is a bit of a problem I suspected that might be the case if we had enough crew well yeah I was thinking I could put another one out whilst I'm pulling them in but uh, unfortunately the crew don't actually chuck them out do they it would be good if they did, I could really automate the whole process and it would be very uh, successful. The question is though, will this make us good money? what needs to happen So in all the other mini games for catching fish, it doesn't matter if you get distracted. But in this one, if you get distracted, you're going to destroy the net. going that well. Another 10,000. <clears throat> So get him over there doing something. Having said that, it does take him an awfully long time to get anywhere. By the time he gets there, he's probably going to need to come back. I don't know, we get a few seconds worth out of him. Nothing happens particularly quickly in this game, does it? Come back over here, please. Cool. So I can start it just before he physically gets there. That's good to know. Good start. Oh, two in a row! Suits you, sir. Ah, I knew it wouldn't happen. Maybe at Christmas. Ooh. Somebody's getting a taste for it. Okay. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Don't say a word. Ah! <laughs> the pressure was too much.
well, slightly less than 10,000 kilos on that one. So we're going to be uh, chucking fish away before the last net, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, good job I stopped at six, because if I'd have put out ten or whatever, we'd have a real problem now. I don't know what you think guys, please tell me in the comment section below, but because it's so easy to catch fish, maybe we should catch less fish, don't you think? And perhaps there should be a greater emphasis on the randomness of a successful catch. You know, if I was pulling in say a thousand kilograms, I mean what, what is a theoretical average number of kilograms pulled in in the real world for a 240 meter net. Let's, let's try and adhere to that. Because I, I kind of feel like it's just all far too easy. It's like every catch is guaranteed to catch something, unless you're lobster fishing obviously, which was an absolute disaster. Long line fishing doesn't bring in any money whatsoever. I'm curious actually as to how much cash we're going to bring in here. Oh, I've lost the touch. really isn't easy this. It does appear to be on a, a timer though, so maybe you could create a macro that presses the left mouse button at exactly the right time every so many seconds. I think I'm just going to employ somebody who's good at this job and leave them to it. Depending on how much we make, because at the moment deep line fishing, for me, is the easiest, quickest, most effective way to make money in this game. Everything else it's a bit of a frustration. Oh, only eight and a half thousand kilos that time. Just about got that right.
Oh, could it be? Could it be? Nope. Not today, Josephine. Not today. Three goods in a row? Yeah, that's a rather slightly less exciting scenario. that one completely nine and a half thousand there you go so we're gonna lose about nine thousand kilograms of fish on this next haul nothing I could do about it just the way it is because if I'd have put out ten or whatever we'd have a real problem now I don't know what you think guys, please tell me in the comment section below, but because it's so easy to catch fish, maybe we should catch less fish, don't you think? And perhaps there should be a greater emphasis on the randomness of a successful catch. You know, if I was pulling in say a thousand kilograms, I mean what, what is a theoretical average number of kilograms pulled in in the real world for a 240 meter net let's let's try and adhere to that because I, I kind of feel like it's just all far too easy it's like every catch is guaranteed to catch something unless you're lobster fishing obviously which was an absolute disaster Long line fishing doesn't bring in any money whatsoever. I'm curious actually as to how much cash we're going to bring in here. Well, I've lost the touch. really isn't easy this it does appear to be on a, a timer though so maybe you could create a macro that presses the left mouse button at exactly the right time every so many seconds I think I'm just going to employ somebody who's good at this job and leave them to it depending on how much we make because at the moment deep line fishing for me is the easiest quickest most effective way to make money in this game everything else it's a bit of a frustration. Oh, only eight and a half thousand kilos that time.
just about got that right. Could it be? Could it be? No. Nope. Not today, Josephine. Not today. Three goods in a row? Yeah, that's a rather slightly less exciting scenario. completely nine and a half thousand there you go so we're going to lose about nine thousand kilograms of fish on this next haul nothing i could do about it just the way it is Just got it in time. Oof, terrible. Three perfects in a row. There's no way on earth we'll get four. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm typical, this is the one that we're not going to get to haul in. Ah, there we go. Four in a row, guys. See if you can beat that. Let me know what your maximum in a row is on this particular type of haul in. Three in a row is quite tricky. Four in a batch is quite a result. Five would be absolutely superb. There we go, five, nice. But unfortunately, 90% of this is going back in the ocean. Nice one to finish, there, yeah, excellent. Good job, chaps. 11.2 thousand kilograms of fish was lost there. That was our best take. And we still got 18 
817. That was by far our best take so far. So I think we're sitting slightly lower in the water now because we've got 50,000 kilograms of fish on board, which is fine in weather like this, but in heavy weather, I think we'd struggle to get anywhere, <clears throat> which again is great because it's quite realistic and I like the, the whole realism side of things. Right, let's get ourselves back to port. I'm just going to go here. We're not going to be clever. Oh, I keep forgetting I could do that. Would you like to sell your fish at Lockport? Yes, I would. We've got $100. What are we going to have after this? Little mini panic there. I have to say a little mini panic. So cod is rubbish. Silver hake is definitely priced up. Redfish is down. Pollock is average. Haddock is brilliant. So we definitely want to sell our haddock here. Um, so I suppose what we could do is say, well, we don't want to sell that or that. And just sell that for 150,000. But again, 150,000 is not a great turnaround when you consider I was getting 420,000 for um, for deep lining on the very first boat we had. I mean, what has been the point of upgrading to the ship? It makes very little sense to me. So we're going to go to another port and see see if we can sell the rest of our the rest of our wares. Are they still working on the fish? Is that part of the problem here? So, okay, we haven't processed the whole thing. We've processed half the thing. I see. Right, well, in that case... Uh, no, we don't want to sell our fish. We just want to skip time. So, say, it's given two hours. Are they still doing it? They finished. Excellent. Okay. Or have they just run out of space? Not sure. Um, Alright, let's try and sell it again. Yes, we'd like to sell our fish. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, okay, I get it now. So we sold... We even sold the fish that we hadn't gutted. So we got less money for that. So I should have waited two hours before uh, going in there. Alright. There's a lesson learnt. So we're still going to go to another port then and just see if we can't perhaps sell the rest of our stuff. I'm going to go here, I think. Good old Dennis Point. Just hope we get uh, a better price out there. And I'm not sure if all the prices, this will basically be the test to see whether or not all the prices are the same no matter where you go or whether we're going to crash. Bang. See, I've got these things on the side here to protect the boat if I do something silly like that. But they never seem to work. Okay, gentlemen, rest away. You know what part of the problem is, don't you? As soon as I do anything with the menu, I can't then steer the boat. That's a problem that existed in Fishing Barrent Sea, and it looks like it's still here. A little, a little bit annoyingly. Okay, we should be able to fast travel now. So we've got enough fuel. I didn't even bother checking the fuel situation. But 
Oh, there's something there, look. And why have we stopped? <laughs> well, that's not on the map, is it? Come on. take it back it is on the map look it just doesn't look no, I suppose it does it looked to me like a shallow rather than a, an island but yeah okay I grant you I shouldn't have uh, steered straight at it Fish on board, would I like to sell? Okay, so we're going to get 35,000 for selling those here, which is fine. It's better than we would have got at the other port, so I'm quite happy with that. So we've got 178,073 uh, in profit. I've got to be honest with you though, um, I don't think net fishing is the way to go. You would have to do an awful lot of toing and froing and messing about to make that work. Oh, why can't I go to rigging? I tell you why I can't go to rigging. Because the tutorial is still on. How do I get to the tutorial? How do I get to the tutorial? I can't remember how to get to the tutorial. Missions? Oh, there we go. Cancel the mission. Job done. Um, so yeah, I think it failed me because I didn't haul the net. I think that's what that was. I don't think that was the bug per se. I just think that because I used crew instead of doing it their way, it's it just it wasn't capable of completing the mission, as it were. Right, so if I now go to port and change my rigging. See, this is what I want to know. Uh, so I can do deep line fishing on this boat. And if I can deep line fish with that 50,000 kilogram capacity, then we could be making a million per pop. But what I want to know is, you can see, look at that. So what it's done is it's converted my 50 nets, or however many nets I had, into deep lines. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's, it's not technically accurate, because obviously they're different things. But what it means is I haven't lost that money. Now what I was going to test was, if I then go back to uh, net fishing... Does it then swap it over to the, the nets? And I think it does. I'm not 100% sure. So it's a bit weird. I, 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 I don't know if that's worked or whether that's failed. <laughs> I'm a bit unsure there. Okay, look. We're going to go out in the next episode and we're going to drop as many long lines in, deep lines in as we can. 
So uh, join me for that. My guess is that we are going to make a million for each journey we take. For every single one, every single time we go out, we're going to come back with a million. That's just what I think. And I don't think we'll be able to put them all in the water either. There'll be too many fish, too much weight for us to cope with. So join me in the next episode where we'll check that out. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye for now.